Hello, greeting and welcome to our series of weekly devotionals where we take a look at one of the lectionary readings uh, for this upcoming Sunday and offer some thoughts uh, for reflection and devotion. And this week upcoming, we are going to look at the uh, one of the Old Testament readings from the second book of Samuel, uh, chapter 7, uh, the first 11 verses. So, I want to begin by just uh, kind of prefacing this by the first, by reading the first part of the first verse. And this is, this section of chapter 7 deals with God's covenant with David, with King David. And the, the chapter begins, Now when the king was settled in his house, and the Lord had given him rest from all of his enemies around him. And I just want to offer some thoughts about that sort of introductory half verse because it's kind of sets the, the stage uh, of, of what David is going through at this time. It's a very uh, sort of tumultuous time. Uh, it's a tumultuous time uh, for King David as he is dealing with um, wars and conflicts with many neighboring uh, countries around the land of Judah. Of course, the uh, particular story of David is a very tumultuous one. Uh, as he, uh, we remember the famous story of David and Goliath, he begins with that conflict uh, against the giant Goliath and then uh, spends many uh, episodes trying to escape the murderous clutches of King Saul. And then, of course, uh, his various escapades with Bathsheba and with uh, you know his own uh, offspring, and it's just a very uh, conflicted, com- tumultuous uh, reign uh, for King David. And of course, in the overarching story of the people of Israel, uh, it's it's very tumultuous as well as they are kind of uh, shifting from a time of of judges when when the people of Israel were ruled uh, by judges to to the monarchy and and King David. And so, this is all a very tumultuous time, and. And one of the things that scholars uh, want to point out uh, that is important in this particular scripture passage is the emphasis that that God is still present in these tumultuous times, that indeed God is at work in turbulent times. And this is something I think we oftentimes forget and 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 ignore. Uh, we, we sometimes fall into the uh, the trap of thinking that God, is only present and working when things go smoothly. When we pray to God and we're faithful enough and our prayers are powerful enough, God makes everything work out okay. But uh, a recent devotional that I read from Catholic priest and author Richard Rohr points out that in life, there is always this pattern that, that repeats itself. And it's the pattern of order, disorder, and then reorder. And, and Rohr teaches that all of the great world religions teach about this pattern of existence, that, that things are smooth, and then you run into some time of, of, of turbulence, some time of chaos, some time of hardship and challenge, and that leads to transformation. And uh, in, in Christianity, we, we probably label those periods of time life, death, and resurrection. And the point is, is that we never get to the resurrection. We never get to the transformative parts of our lives until we go through the disorder. And so those turbulent uh, episodes in our lives are necessary. They're, they're a part of life and they're part of, of what every person of faith must go through uh, in order to grow, in order to, to transform. And so uh, as we read this opening uh, passage uh, and set the stage for the story of, of David's uh, covenant with God, uh, we indeed focus on the turbulence, the hardship, the difficulties, but also the assurance that indeed God is at work in turbulent times. Amen.